<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Welcome, dear friends. How are you all doing from uh, yesterday's video that we did on uh, self-help? Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Thanks for your amazing messages. Thanks for your honesty. Thanks for your truth. Thanks for your sharing of your heart. Um, very brave of some some of you guys. I I well done. I really mean that. First step towards healing our past and our um, challenges is to face them and not to be frightened of sharing that truth. I think that's a, a really good thing to share. I am a pain in the backside. I do make mistakes. I have um, an issue that I need to resolve with him. You know, facing it really is wonderful. I try and say to you that it's better not to say I am. It's just something that is within that we need to clear. If we always bear that in mind, it is an issue that needs to be cleared. That is a challenge. That is a test. So it isn't who you are. It's just something that you are facing and you need to clear away. Better not to make yourself feel as if that is who you are. It isn't. You are beautiful, perfect, divine, amazing, powerful, magical, all the most amazing things that you can imagine. And what we're doing every day on these videos, we're chipping away and we're using certain tools, crystals, cleansing sticks, oils, meditation practices, and we're chipping and chipping and chipping and chipping until we come to this beautiful, perfect, divine, goddess, God, whatever you want to call yourself, um, uh, spirit, soul, purity, and that is who we are. So really what we're doing is we're clearing away all of the things that are attached to us because of social conditioning, because of what we felt as a child, because of what people do to us, because of all the things that we give, we gave ourselves before we came here, the feelings of what we need to go through. So as, as we see it like that, we don't become attached to anything. It just is something that was and is no longer. <laughs> I am perfect. I am amazing. Uh, it's just all the other stuff that I need to brush off. <laughs> That's what we're working on. Today's a great day, guys. Welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. It's a day that I feel enlightened and happy, full of joy. I'm feeling great inside, feeling healthy. Yeah, I feel really 100%. So I'm really looking forward to the Pure Energy Healing uh, Practitioners course, which is in uh, about a week or a week and a half. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've been bottling up your oils, your energizing oils. You're, they're doing really well. You're loving them. Thanks for your messages. It is good, right? <laughs> I just put some on five minutes ago, so I feel great too. Uh, and I'm bottling all the oils ready to uh, head off very shortly to Bali and maybe see a few of you there. The bookings are flying in, so that's really, really good. And I'm like, yay, we're going we're gonna to have a great time. Today we're going to talk about crystals. Uh, crystals is one of the things that is a great passion to me. It's um, my life now um, and I love crystals every day. Some people say, why aren't you wearing a crystal today? Some days I don't wear a crystal because I need my body to um, just kind of feel its own balance. And then some days I feel an urge to put a crystal on. Like today I felt an urge to put this crystal on, which is um, Apache Tia. And it's an obsidian, beautiful crystal, beautiful, beautiful crystal. And it helps with emotion, clear emotion away. And sometimes it can be really a heavy crystal and I can feel really bad. But that's a good sign. A lot of people really don't get it yet. They still don't get it. And a lot of people uh, are buying crystals wanting to feel amazing. But, you know, you have to go through a process of uh, clearing the block and the fear and the worry and whenever somebody says to me, and it happens often, oh my God, Mark, the crystal that I bought from you, I, I feel terrible and I'm going, yes. And you're going, no. And I'm going, yes, keep it on. Because it's a detox. You, your crystal is detoxing you from the pain and suffering that is within. But you say, but I've never felt that before. No, because you're detoxing from something that is suppressed, which is in you. And that's why full balance can never be unless you clear those blocks. That's what healers do. We clear the blocks within you so you become a perfect vessel a channel a clear energy so you're feeling on top of the world but if you've got blocks then it can only go to the block and it can't go any further so you can never be as open as you 
are when you wear a crystal that clears that pain or that hurt that you're feeling when you put it on. So when you think a crystal is causing you pain and it's negative, I'm saying, oh my God, it's the best, that I, that's what I want. <laughs> so I'm wearing this and I can feel the pain here. So I'm thinking, thank God, that's brilliant, it's working. And you're thinking, it's not. <laughs> so we've got everything back to front. I try and share these um, nuggets of truth because I've done it for 15 years. When somebody wears a crystal and and like they say, oh my God, I, I, I hate it. I, I'm saying I love it, you know. So I'm completely opposite to a lot of um, other healers and other um, crystal workers. So I, I, I observe and I see and I feel with energy around crystal and within you what's going on. So as you're lying down and I place a Moldavite <clears throat> on your forehead and I can see the suffering, I can see the pain that you're going through, the hurt, and almost like you're having a, another uh, stroke, which has happened many times. I've had clients who have had strokes in the past. They've, they've laid down and I've laid a piece of Moldavite on their forehead and they're, they're in so much pain, but they never stop. And at the end, they always say to me, you know what, Matt, I was gonna tell you to stop. That, that was so frightening, so scary because I didn't know what was going on. But they always told me it was like I, I was living my past of the stroke that I had and things happen like arms move in the same way as they were having their stroke. So their leg might fly up and they may say to me, Mark, when I was having a stroke, my left leg flew up. The same thing happened when the Moldavite entered my head and I say, yes, because whatever happened when you had your stroke or whatever issue you had, it comes back again because it's going to the direct place where that block is, you see? So that's, how I see it. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, there was an ad, ad on the, uh, the channel there. Okay, so what, let, let, anyway, <laughs> here we go. So I have a, a group of crystals here and I'm gonna hopefully answer a few of your questions that you've been sending to me um, for so long now, but it's very difficult to answer all of them, but I'm gonna try and answer a few at least, okay? So uh, one of the questions that I got yesterday, which is fresh in my mind from a very dear, beautiful um, friend on YouTube, was um, the crystal that is, let's say this, okay? We're talking about this crystal, which could be a room crystal, okay? And then let's take this crystal, which is also could be a room crystal. And then let's take this one, which is a pyramid, which is also a room crystal. Which is the most powerful crystal? Well, and the other question is, the bigger the crystal, the more powerful. Okay, first of all, you've got to dispel this this notion or this idea that a bigger crystal generates more energy. I do not believe that at all. I have had a Moldavite the size of, um, uh, uh, you, could, you can't even see it. And I've laid that on top of somebody's forehead and I have seen more reaction to that crystal than me laying down, um, say an amethyst cluster or holding it next to the head and working my energy work there. Um, so it's got nothing whatsoever to do with the size of the crystal. The only reason why I have on my website holding crystals is because you can hold them in your hand like this. And I have room crystals of very different shapes and sizes. Now, if you think about this, guys, every crystal generates an energy of its own um, magnificence, of its own uh, power, healing, ability, um, whether that stabilizes a room, whether it energizes a room, whether it heals, uh, whether it blasts out healing energy in the room, whether that crystal will blast out. Let, let, let's take this one, shall we? Look at this, let's have a look at it. Okay, it's a little bit all over the place, this one. Um, this one is, as you can see, it's been dug from the ground, so you've got your stone, and then you've got your mother stone, and then you you can see here, there's certainly um, uh, quartz with uh, um, amethyst. I don't know if you can see that carefully, but there's amethyst in this one. 
Um, there is also smoky quartz in this one too. And I think there's some um, orange river as well. So there's, there's quite a few different um, uh, energies going on in here. I'm not really into the, the names. I'm into the energy of crystals. So this crystal is given, if you were to place this crystal in a room, first of all, you can see there are pointers. Pointers are really powerful for me because I work with them on clients on certain areas of the body. So if you imagine this crystal, in fact, let me go to this crystal now because that makes sense to where we're going to. This is a smoky quartz, okay? So this is one of my smoky quartz crystals on the website. Okay, so you see the back of there? That's kind of the mother stone. And there's your quartz and it's smoky quartz. Now imagine that is on you. The energy that this creates as a crystal is not only blasting from the back into your body, but it's also blasting out the little pointers. And guess where those pointers are going to uh, touch and affect everybody around you. So this is also an amazing crystal to wear for you as a healer and for your clients. Or if you've got family and people who are not really into the, the energy of crystals, this will automatically blast out a wave to help them when you're around them. <clears throat> smoky Quartz has an amazing, th this actually, Smoky Quartz is amazing. It is a beautiful, beautiful crystal, this one. Um, and I should wear it a little bit more as well. The nice thing about this one is it's got some pointers at the back. So it's actually blasting you as well with its pointers. So coming back to this, you lay this particular crystal in your room and you've got the energy of the whole crystal um, blasting out a wave, but you've also got the pointers as well, which is, is brilliant if you just want to hold it and work with it on your body. Because everything, like I said, is channeled energy when you work with crystals and you're holding them. So the moment you hold that crystal, you're receiving, which will go through your body into the crystal and blast out an energy. So you can actually self-heal yourself and you can feel it straight away. You can feel the energy blasting into you if you just stop a moment and feel. And you can work with that crystal. Now, this crystal is amethyst, which holds a lot of very powerful energy of clearing away blocks. It also helps you attune and open up to your higher self. It's a great connector to the spirit world. So, you know, if I've got this crystal, I'll be using it around my forehead uh, and, and clearing away. For some reason, my back is killing now. So right on my back shoulder, lower, as soon as I held this, I could feel the pain. Great, because whatever's happening with this crystal, it's helping either a block or an issue on my back. So this crystal is a, an amazing crystal. So I would leave this in a room and let it, let it do its magic. Now, I'll go to this crystal, which is um, a rose quartz, and you can see it's in the shape of a pyramid. Is the pyramid shape um, more powerful because it's in a pyramid shape? I don't see it that way. The only way I see this is that if I'm holding it like this in my hand and I'm working on your third eye or the pointer will generate the energy into that point and blast it out there. So I can hold this crystal in my hand like that and place it on my heart and just sit there in meditation and allow the energy to pour through and then it blasts certain places. So. If I lay this in a room, the energy of all corners of the of the crystal will blast out an energy of, for me, this is comfort, this is protection, this is healing. This will make my room feel like I'm at home. It will make me feel like I'm not worried or in fear. So if you struggle with um, you know, being around too many people, you struggle with, with headaches and worry and stress, this brings balance to your room. It brings comfort, it brings stability and most of all calmness so but but then again if i take this crystal which is again another same shape it would still do the same work if i place it here but this is more on a inner peace level it will bring more inner peace it will bring more stability it will feel like i'm at peace so this crystal is a really beautiful crystal 
to heal with. It's great for um, healing on a physical as well as an emotional level. So it will blast out an energy if you put this in the corner of the room. This is why I often have, I don't have any more on my website, I don't think, but normally I'll have four of these crystals that I'll work on on a certain level because all my crystals are pure energy healing crystals. I put energy into them as well as the what the crystal holds. So it, it's like a double whammy. It has two amazing energies, which I call memories. So you can have four of these in a room, but then you can uh, take one of these and put this in the room. So you can have uh, one in each corner of different types. So like we've got this beautiful orange one. So this one will be more for me. It would bring more vitality. It would bring more healing on a physical level. It will help my body generate more, well, we call cells or healing energy, healing cells, whatever. But this also is, you could have four in a room. So if your family is suffering with a lot of physical issues, I would be suggesting either this one or this one. So four of these are two or two. If your family is going through stress, anger, they're all upset, everything's going wrong, not predominantly on a physical level, but on an emotional level, then I'd be looking at this to bring peace and harmony and, and just to feel a, a more calm in the room. So, um, Let's take this one. This is um, a fluoride, okay? This is uh, Diana, Diana Maria fluoride. Beautiful crystal. Um, it has, if you look, um, I mean, you can see, it's really hard to see, but they're like little cubes. These grow in like little cubes. And this is an amazing crystal to work with too. I often hold it in my hands and just sit and feel the vibration of that crystal. And when I finish with it, I'll leave it in the center of a room and it blasts its energy into that room. This crystal is amazing, inner peace, um, stillness. It brings a lot of healing throughout the whole of the body. It's amazing for different parts of the body on a physical level. It's great for clearing the blocks. Um, so you can, you can see that all crystals have uniqueness about them. Uh, I'll take this crystal. This, this is one from uh, India. As you can see, it's got the, the mother stone where it's been dug and its original stone. And then you've got two forms of crystals happening here. You've got the very, very beautiful um, lime green. And then you've got the um, almost like bordering orange but very very light orange these two crystals work together again harmony peace but they're blasting out different energies all the time you can see if there's a little bit of of coloration there so that's changing the energy of the crystal slightly if you can see there again that's another crystal. So within this crystal, we've got three or four different forms of, of crystals being, um, uh, it's blasting out an energy of different forms. So is one crystal more powerful than, than these two or three crystals within that? There's no such thing as a crystal being more powerful than another. They just all hold a uniqueness and, and I think we need to dispel this, I've got a big geode and I paid 5,000 for it and it's this high. And so that makes my room even more powerful. I really think we need to dispel that because one little tiny Moldavite chip or one Herkimer diamond placed in a room has just as equal effect. That's my humble opinion because I've seen the energy move from that. I've seen uh, waves blast out. Do they work all the time? They do, but sometimes, and here's the most beautiful thing about crystals, they will work in different ways if placed on certain people. And if you walk into a room, and I've seen this many times, and that's what I do, I'll place a crystal on somebody and I'll see the energy of that crystal change for formation or change its energy or its vibration than if I come across here and there's a healing bed here and I place that very same crystal on another client, 
the energy changes instantly and it's a different uh, vibration, a different healing energy to that client. Therefore, each crystal has its uniqueness and it works towards what needs to be healed within you. Is that making any sense? It's a lot to take on board and it sounds, I can understand why a lot of you are thinking this is a lot of nonsense, but if you are able to see energy shift and move from a crystal, you if you can see the forms and what's going on within that crystal or around that crystal at any given moment, if you can just say, wow, I just see, why did, why did I just see more and less? And why did I see that happen? Why did the energy flow from there to there? You start to realize that each crystal works differently on each person. And that's why I know, hand on my heart, it, you know, if I give you my crystal and say this happened to me, it's not going to happen to you. It's going to work in a different way. And it makes sense because your body is completely different from mine. What you've been through, what you've felt, what your energy is, how high, how low you are, what you need to um, uh, conquer in life is different from me. So a crystal is going gonna, is gonna to be different for you. And you may now say, well, what's the point in going to your website and reading what it does for people? I All I can tell you is that when I work on a client and I see that client healed from a specific um, uh, problem or issue like heartbreak, I then write down on that one crystal like this one, I'll have wrote down certain things after working on a client before it got put into a, a clasp. And I'll think, okay, that crystal helped with this woman being abused from a boyfriend. Now she feels better, she feels happier, she feels stronger. So I write down on this crystal, say that this crystal has the memory of now becoming stronger than a partner's abuse. Do you see what I mean? So when, when that memory goes onto them, it will then start working in a specific way on the body or in the body where it would be different from somebody else. Because if you were abused by say your boyfriend, he may have abused you in a physical way or he may have abused you in a mental way, which means that the mental may be here and the physical may be in the stomach, but that crystal holds a memory to heal that specific issue that that challenge so then the the crystals memory will go to the certain place where you specifically need healing from that issue and it works guys you just need to have a look scroll down read some of the comments on the um seven or eight hundred videos i've done people have bought these crystals and they're called working crystals. I work with them on my clients. I work with them with, on myself. I put energy of memory into them, what I believe the crystal will need when it comes to you. So you may say to me, well, how do you do that? And I say, I don't know. I put a crystal in my hand, I hold it, and all of a sudden I get certain feelings and I can feel the healing of certain energies through what the challenges are people go through. So it's almost like I'm getting a rush of information that goes into the crystal. I write that down, put it on my website and say, hey guys, this crystal um, has a memory that can or may help with this. And you just look at the, the messages, they do help. I've been doing it 15 blooming years. Do you think if it didn't work, I would do it for 15 years? I've created something which was like every now and again given a crystal to now the website being one of the most powerful and, and, and big websites in the world. So the, it does work. And all you need to do is work on your crystal yourself. So if you're going through an issue, say like me now, have I got any issues? Not really. I can't think of anything. Uh, okay, right. So... I had some raw garlic the other day and I got stomach ache. So I took a crystal and put it on my stomach, worked on that and worked on it until the issue was gone. So now I have a crystal that helps with physical issue that I've eaten something that wasn't good and I needed to clear that away because I ate too much raw garlic and sometimes eating too much of something is not good. So now I have a crystal that I worked with which helps with, which a lot of people would say uh, allergies or uh, issues with food uh, uh, intolerances. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So if I've had a bad day and I've had a really bad headache, a really stinking headache for being around people who have been negative, angry, shouting, jealousy, I'll come back home and I'll take a crystal and I'll hold that crystal on my head and I'll work with it and then my headache goes after maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes and I feel better. Now this crystal has the memory of healing headaches. Do you understand how my crystal website works? You understand how I work with crystals now, right? Okay.
I think that's it guys have a great day we're gonna crack on with work now we've got lots of deliveries to do we're gonna send them out today lots of the freebies we're gonna uh, send you some books out and things like that and all the other stuff um, Moldavite tactics oils as uh, from my heart to yours I hope this little video serves you well I hope you understand a little bit more about crystals <clears throat> please please guys don't run out there and buy an expensive Moldavite. Don't run out there and buy the most expensive geode or the most expensive and biggest crystal. Start small, work with them and feel them. And then, you know, if you feel the pull that you want a bigger crystal, then that's fine. But don't see it as a more powerful crystal. Just see each crystal as the most beautiful crystal in the world. Because at the end of the day, guys, I've never met a crystal that I don't like. They're all beautiful. Small, big, huge, makes no difference. All gorgeous. Have a great, wonderful day. And thank you once again for making your purchases of oils, incense, sticks, all the things that help you along your journey, all the tools that help me and my clients from markbayeski.com. I hope they serve you well and make you the most amazing soul that you already are and always were. Take care, guys, from my heart to yours.